It's CCTN late night, folks, and while the rest of Capital City is going to bed, this reporter wants us all to remember the people working the late shift, especially those hardworking folks at Capital City Transit Commission. We're always working hard to make sure the trains run safely for us all. Okay, train 55. This is Chief McKendrick. You're looking good for full maintenance approval. Roger on that, Chief. I'll bring this subway train into the yard. That's good, Charlie. I'll just... 55, what is that? I'm getting some kind of strange music. Yeah, I'm getting that too. It's, uh, sounds like... Some kind of old monster movie music. Chief, are you gonna clear the tunnel? Clear the tunnel? Your tunnel should be clear, 55. Well, it's not. There's something big in front of me. Big? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Charlie, you there? Train 61. Train 61. 61 here, Chief McKendrick. I'm waiting for my maintenance check. Ed, take a look up tunnel number five. See what's happening. I'm right here now, Chief. Just, uh, turn to the switch and... Chief? What's that sound? Seems like it's coming from those signal lights up ahead. What's up with Charlie? Ed? What are you seeing? <laughs> now, this, this is Chief McKendrick, at Capital City Transit Commission. Look, we've got a problem here in the subway. Yeah, a big problem. Makes the monsters big. makes no sense. When has there ever been a lineup at the Main Street Station? Never. Nothing to worry about, folks. Routine maintenance. There's nothing big to be afraid of down there. Just routine maintenance. I think we should take a closer look. Let's go. Dick Dorman here, folks, with an incredulous news flash. As of this moment, the Capital City Transit Commission is out of service. We don't know what the cause is, but this intrepid reporter will stay on the story and keep you informed. Chief McKendrick, have you lost your mind? Shutting down the subway without approval from City Hall! But Superintendent McClellan, it's all about the safety of our citizens. We can't run the system without knowing exactly what we've got down there. Are you sure your drivers aren't seeing things? After all, Capital City is an efficiently run city. And we always need to make sure everyone sees it that way. Don't we? But that doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. How are we able to just wander out here onto the subway tracks without encountering any precautions whatsoever? Listen. What's with that weird music? That doesn't sound like any subway equipment to me. No, it sounds more... We might have a very serious problem. That is, if this liquid residue tests positive for zoologically-based mucus, which I believe it will. You mean animal slime? Animal slime. Hey, this area is off limits for all citizens of Capital City. Chief McKendrick, hi. I'm Tabby Holswade, Chief Holswade's daughter. Tabby? Well, you should know better than to be here in this... Chief, there's something wrong with the fence. Sort of looks like something broke into the subway. 
You know, you're right. This does look like something just ripped away the fence. Wait a second. I know you. You're the kids who helped get rid of those giant monsters. So maybe... Look, two of my drivers saw something pretty strange in there last night, so I shut the system down this morning. But Superintendent McClellan has ordered it back up and running again immediately. But surely if there's any risk to the citizens of Capital City... We're back online again in a few minutes. Oh, man. CTN News Flash. The Capital City Transit Commission is back online. Buses, streetcars, subway trains, they're all going to be running again. No one's sure what the problem was, but it seems to have solved itself. Everything is exactly as I'd hoped. The subway trains are running again. Toot toot. <laughs> Now it is time to get my vengeance! I just need to restart my system signals. There we go. Ah, just a little flip of a switch. Then so much destruction may be wrought on the people of Capital City. <laughs> oh, now, just the flip of a switch, and I will wreak havoc on the Unsuspecting people! Ah! <laughs> Somebody's at the door? No one ever comes to the door. Missy Gore, sir. Capital City Hydroelectric. Um, I'm really sorry to bother you, but I've been putting in a little extra overtime lately. And I couldn't help noticing that someone's been using a tremendous amount of electricity in this area. Can I come in? <laughs> wow! Now that is amazing. <laughs> I'll bet that does something incredible. Uh, in fact, I'll bet that that... <sighs> oh, Miss Gore! Oh, Miss Gore! <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. Why does everything happen to me? There's that sound again. We heard that just before the other fella saw whatever they saw down there. Train 33, train 33, are you there? What? Sorry, Chief, I can't hear you. We've, uh, we've got some really weird music down here. And, uh, looks like there's something up ahead on the track. Train 33, get off that track, now. I've got to go pull the manual override. Shut down all the other trains. Sorry, kids, can't talk now. I've got an emergency. What is that? It looks like it. This can't be good. Luke, look. What is that? Looks like we got trouble, gang. Monster trouble. CCTN News Flash, folks. The subway system saga just won't stop. It looks like rumors of a giant creature inside the subway might be true. Unfortunately, we haven't heard anything from City Hall yet at all. Hopefully, now that the mayor is back in town, we'll soon have more to report. Don't worry, sir. I, I don't think we need to panic. I mean, after all, nobody got hurt. Well, I'm certainly pleased that everybody got out all right, but if we thought something was in the tunnels, why didn't we just shut the subway system down? Well, sir, it's crucial to keep the city's infrastructure running on time. Not if people are worried about being eaten on their way to work. What do we do now? I'm on it, sir. I'll work directly with Chief McKendrick to form a special task force to look into the problem and see what happens. Task force? <laughs> well, yeah, well, sure. I still don't know about all this. But we don't even know if the authorities want us to help out here. If we leave things to the authorities, people may get hurt. It isn't the problem that... That sounded big. Tabby. Here, guys. I made these in case you need to stop something unknown in its tracks.
Everyone's set to disable. What are you doing here? I need to speak to you kids off the record. It isn't by luck that after my movie career, I became the number one seller of above ground swimming pools in Capital City. And why was it? It was because I know. You know what, sir? I know what people say. The swimming pool that didn't leak last year is the swimming pool that won't leak this year. So we all eventually end up in the backyard just covered with water. Sir, I don't. See, in this case, the whole joint is flooded with water. And Dad's here to try to find somebody to help him pump it out. You're looking for our help. Huh? Help. See, I got something down in the subway tunnels of this city that's looking to try and eat whole trains in a single go. It wouldn't be right for us to help Capital City without the proper authority to. Well, I know that. I know that. That's why I brought you this. Give these handy kids whatever they need to save our city. Signed, the mayor. <laughs> now, don't think I don't know what you kids have done for this city already. We need you. We really need you. You can count on us, sir. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Love you guys. Whatever's down there, first it was sighted here, then it was sighted here, and now we have a sighting here and here. And then there's that business with that weird music we heard. And it seems to come just before the creature appears. Hmm. My guess is that it's some way of calling it and controlling it then that means that someone's been able to tap into our system's communication lines and transmit the sound. So no matter what, before anyone goes back down into that tunnel, we're gonna need the entire power system to the transit system shut down. We're gonna need something else. Now, I've taken all the information and everything Chief McKendrick here has told us, and this is what I believe we're confronting. A 30-foot earthworm. I think we still have some research to do. I'm afraid, Dennis, that the only way to destroy it is to... That's as good a copy as I've got. Got this one off the air a couple months ago when CCTN had a Klaus von Steinhauer Monster Fest weekend. You mean they put it on the air in that condition? No. See, everything started out all right, but then the weirdest thing happened. Suddenly there were all these strange, wavy lines, almost as if something was monitoring the broadcast. March 15th, I remember thinking, beware the Ides of March. At least Attack of the Giant Earthworm proves that Klaus's movie creatures are simple compared to the creatures we're facing today. Look. The earthworm in the movie is based on a more traditional earthworm. But check this out. The earthworm in the subway today had different shading and a considerably altered trunk section. Which means? Well, my guess is that in addition to feeding on traditional animal and plant life, this one has been adapted to pursue um, the electromagnetic energy inherent in alloy-based materials. It chases and eats metal? Didn't I just say that? Guys, we can't have this thing in our subway system a second longer. Let's go. It's monster time.
and again, folks, an incredulous development as the subway saga keeps going, which is more than I can say for the subway. <laughs> That's right, the subway uh, has been closed again, and rumor has it that those super handy teenagers have been sent Wake to up, find out Gore. what's been causing the trouble. Oh, it can't be. They've got all the power to the entire subway system. <laughs> Oh, it's those accursed teenagers and their stinky car again! What you doing? Oh, oh, you're awake. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just do that a lot. Fall asleep and then I wake up. It just happens. Which is really too bad, because it looks like you're doing something really interesting here. Interesting? I would never do anything to harm Capital City or in any way lead to its eventual destruction. I'd be all right if you did. This city has owed me two weeks back pay for over a year now. I think a girl could use a little spice in her life. And you seem pretty spicy, Mr. You can call me Klaus. Well, you never know, Klaus. I could come in pretty handy for you. I do work for the city. Remember, the emergency lights will only work for so long. Luke, I found more slime. Lots more. We're definitely closer. If we go down that tunnel right there... We'll be in a bad place. That way leads to a dead-end tunnel with the only way out being that way. If something came after us now, we'd be cornered. Fortunately for us, the electricity shut off. So for the time being, the sound system that's being used to lure in the earthworm is disabled. Let's go. Um, guys, I ever tell you I'm not that crazy about the dark? It's being called towards us. Look out! See, the only thing that affects it are the high frequencies in that music. We need to run some high frequency interference. That's it, let's go. My beauty acting so strangely. Keep going that way. I'll lead it to the end of the tunnel. Someone turned the power back on. So wh what do you do, Chief? We Sorry, Chief. Got to run. Where is he going? Oh my. That sounds big. and all the electricity in the earth room. Now that's gross. You can say that again. Ew. Ugh. Oh, it was so perfect. And now it's all destroyed? It's okay, Klausi. You'll get him next time. Besides, 
I'm sure you've got all kinds of ideas for doing bad things to Capital City. Because mm. I certainly have all sorts of ways to help. See? It's just a map of all the power centers in Capital City. That's all. <laughs> This is CCTN News with a top story. The Capital City subway system is back and running. I repeat, it's back on. <laughs> One inside source at City Hall said, without a certain group of creature-fighting teenagers, the whole transit system might have been eaten. <laughs> Imagine, you know. Another happy citizen saying job well done. Uh, it's a cheerful, happy capital city we faced this morning, Superintendent. And it's all because of those wonderful teenagers. Well, I hope they're as happy with the job they've done as the rest of us are. Hmm. I'm afraid, Dennis, that the only way to destroy it is to... Doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Why would a cable TV transmission have wavelengths running through it? I don't know, but I also don't know why you're so concerned about it. I mean, wasn't that months ago? I just... Ah. I just have a feeling that this all traces back to the night CCTN ran those horror flicks. It's just a feeling I have. <laughs>